physics does exist. This is a real lab setting. In this type of stories, science really matters. My name is Vensi Valev. I am a professor of physics. But importantly, I'm a big fan of the three-body problem. One thing that I really missed in the Netflix adaptation is the idea for Turkey scientist. I think this is a very powerful concept that shows the possible limitations of our science. And in both the novel and the Chinese version, our limitations are demonstrated by the alien race. And I thought this was really well done in the Chinese series where the main character goes to an astrophysics observatory and then uses microwave goggles. The cosmic microwave background is this a signature of the Big Bang. It is something truly fundamental and observing variations in that signature would be very significant. By contrast, stars can blink and twinkle on a cloudy night. So that representation was much less dramatic, in my view. My second point is about the nanofabrication laboratory, where the scientist just walks in. To give you an idea of how it actually looks like for us, let's go and have a look at the real nanofab lab. Netflix used a device that looked like a 3D printer and the main scientist boldly walked with her clothes into the space. We just wouldn't do that. The air in this space is changed six times every minute. So if a particle floats off me, it has a good chance to be sucked away by the ventilation system as opposed to going on the real nanofabrication devices such as this one. And to give you an idea, having one of these particles on a real device would be roughly the equivalent of laying a carpet over football balls on the floor. Another thing you might have noticed in this room is the yellow light. The reason it is yellow is that we're using photosensitive polymers that can harden when illuminated with a particular color of light. That color is absent from the yellow light here. Another thing that really got my attention was the staircase project. I would have presented that slightly differently. In the Netflix series, we have the Earth, which is represented by this apple, and then evenly spaced atomic devices that are somehow sitting there in space, nicely evenly spaced. In space, things don't stay in the same place. They are rotating. They are rotating around the Earth or they are rotating around the Sun as they go farther and farther from the Earth. So I would have modified the explanation that the scientist gives where the spaceship intersects the devices to say the spaceship is going to intercept these devices. However, they will be going on their own orbits each one slightly further away so that the interceptions are finely timed. The effect would be the same. Another thing that I would have considered is how does the spaceship leave the Earth? Well, the Earth rotates like this apple. So to benefit the most from this rotation, I would place the launch site on the equator and then would launch in a direction of rotation of the apple or the Earth. On Earth, this happens to be eastwards. As we do that, we would also be traveling in the direction of rotation of the atmosphere that goes with the Earth. And that means that we will have less air resistance. That would save fuel and maybe allow us to carry a few more spices for our passenger. Nevertheless, it's an interesting story to follow, so I look forward to the next episodes, and in particular, to what's going to happen to the Earth.
But at this point, I really don't know where I'm going with this explanation. And I should probably start over, because it's complete nonsense. I have to start over. <laughs>